light makes all the difference. It sets the tone. It helps you tell a story. <laughs> Eat it in the air! You can have the best camera in the world, but without light, it is as good as a morning without coffee. Elgato Gaming, which is a part of Corsair now, released this. This is very high quality edge lit LED light that connects to your Wi-Fi so that you can control it with your stream deck or your phone, your Mac or your PC. And just like all other products from Elgato, um, unless Unless you're Jack Black. Still haven't figured out the Elgato. I have not figured out the Elgato. I haven't worked out all the kinks on the Delgado. It's very easy to set up and use. And here it is. Elgato Key Light comes in this big and heavy box. On the box, as you'd expect, it tells you the specs and features of the product. But there's one thing I like you to pay attention to. At the front, it says adjustable color. That only means cold through warm white, not the colors colors, you know. Inside the box we're greeted with setup guide. Underneath that a power brick that may occupy most of your outlet, plugs for different parts of the world, a sturdy mount with twist lock mechanism and the key light itself. This is one hefty light. The build quality looks and feels very good. It has tripod mount on all four sides which is always a plus. And at the back we have the on, off and reset switch and the power port. Setting the key light is very easy. Just go to your Wi-Fi settings under setup new device select the light add it to your Wi-Fi and that's it. Now you can control the device when you go into the control center app. The the system works fast and accurate. I only wish these sliders displayed Kelvin value and percentage of the brightness. You can see these values in Stream Deck while setting up the keys, but I think we need to see them in all control center apps with the option to type in the values instead of trying to slide to the number we like. Maybe they'll add it later with an update. These lights can produce 2500 lumen brightness which is very very bright and they don't flicker when they're dimmed. These lights produce very little heat and it's perfect when you want them on for a long period of time while you're streaming or when you're shooting video or for some other reasons that I'm not going to question. They have been on since the beginning of the video and my hand is 86 degrees and this thing is just 77. This light is 80. The thing about these lights are they are edge lit LEDs. And if you don't know what edge lit LED is, let me mansplain it to you. As you can see, a typical LED light has LEDs facing towards you. But this one has the LEDs in the corner facing inward. So this produces a really soft light. Now let me show you the problem with a light like this. Siri, turn the stage lights off. As you can see, it is casting a lot of different shadows. All right, to stop that, you need to put a diffuser. But a diffuser is not enough because it's too close to the LEDs. So what you need is a soft box but if the soft box is too close you're still gonna have those shadows the soft box has to be far so you can get rid of those shadows which means in order to have a nice glare free result you're gonna have this light and then you have to set up soft boxes everything is gonna take a lot of space it's gonna look very ugly 
Let's look at the lights I use. Behind this umbrella, I have two types of lights. A $700 LED light, which is dimmable, but it casts a lot of shadows. And on top of it, $35 fluorescent lights that are not dimmable, but they are softer. I have this setup mounted to the wall and all of them have a purpose. On the other side, I have a similar setup as well. But as you can see, this is a very ugly setup. Meanwhile, this light, as you can see, since you're not seeing any LEDs, it doesn't cast any shadows that way. No matter how bright I turn it on, the shadow is still super soft. So all you need is this light. You don't need softbox because it is softbox by itself. And I love that. Also normally an edge lit LED light, which is physically smaller than this, dimmer than this, doesn't have any Wi-Fi connection. You cannot control it with your phone or other stuff. Costs $300. And $11 where this costs $199 $200 now let's say I'm a gamer and I want to play some games and I want to stream it as you can see I have my stream deck here it is set up and it is ready to go and if I want to have my green backdrop which is my favorite collapsible green screen by the way from the same brand and I've been using it since May 2018 you simply open the lid up pull the screen out and start filming you don't need to set up a framing for it you don't need to iron it it is the most useful backdrop I've ever used and once you're done using it you just push the screen back into the box then you put the box away until the next time you need it And my backdrop ready. Is the light not bright enough? What would I want to use? Do I want to use my phone? Or do I want to use the stream deck? I want to use my phone for this one. Just gonna turn it up a little bit. As you can see, the green backdrop has zero shades. If only one was on, there would be shade, which is not something we want. We can even make it brighter and then we can make it warmer or colder i set some numbers here i like to use 5500 now that we are set let's go and kick some b-u-t-t -T. as you may or may not know i i don't forgive in this game Ooh, that was spy Yep. I don't want to waste the entire video with this, but... Alright, I got my domination. <laughs> Eat it in the air! Yeah, and that's how you take care of these situations. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. Okay, okay, stop, stop. Then I decided to use these lights for one of my own things, unboxing. And for me, the result was very satisfying. Being able to have these lights just sit on the table and produce soft light makes my life so much easier. Actually, now I can even add feel to my unboxings or my product shots. Just look at these photos that I shot on my iPhone while testing these lights. I don't think Elgato realizes this, but these lights are not just for gamers. So, no matter what you're into on this series of tubes, I think if you need a high quality light, you should check out Elgato's key lights. Just like their collapsible green backdrop, it is something that makes life easier and I plan to use these lights for a really long time. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please 
hit that subscribe button I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen hit that subscribe button and play ding dong ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination and please let me know what you think about these Elgato key lights in the comment section below wow look at that and until I see you the next time take really good care of yourselves and hoş çakalın